What do I want to say? Some of you guys called it. You knew this was going to happen. You knew exactly what was going to happen once I built these cabinets. Yeah, that's right. I don't have to tell you. You know it. I'm building some more. Hey everybody, my name is Sam and welcome back to SamCraft. This video picks up same day as the one where I decommissioned my rotating tool carousel. If you haven't seen that video, there's a link to it down below. Go check it out. It is a precursor to this, but it's also chock full of some really useful information, some brainstorming and talking and shop layout stuff that I think you'll enjoy. As I was digging out and disassembling my rotating tool carousel, I ran across an old project that I started and never finished. I know, really, really rare. I know this is kind of hard for you to wrap your head around because no one else has this problem, but I started down the road of building something a long time ago and never finished it. And I just found that thing now. Yeah, kind of complicated, weird, isn't it? It's weird stuff. I'm not going to take this project where it was originally headed because that was for something totally different. What I'm going to do is scavenge it and use it to become another wall cabinet. One little one above my son's tool box. That was difficult to say for some reason. So without further ado, let's drag that thing out, make some measurements, cut me a couple of shelves, put them in there, and throw that thing on the wall. So while I originally cut three shelves, looks like two is gonna be the magic number for this one. I did make these certain heights for spray paint cans for the bottom and the middle. And then I wanted a taller one for, in this case, wasp killer, because I get a lot of wasps in my shop through the summertime and stuff. So the top shelf is taller for any kind of tall cans. It also is deep enough to where two cans will fit front to back and still have a plenty of room. So that's nice to be able to double up on sprays. And for something that was mostly assembled for another project and using some scrap pieces from the tool carousel, I have myself another wall shelf. Let's go ahead and hang this thing on the wall. First thing to do is to take down my son's toolbox here. That'll get relocated to a different area. And then I can go ahead and measure for my wall studs, transfer those measurements to the inside of my cabinet, put it up here and attach it in place. This wall cabinet is 15 inches off of this back wall, so I at least want to make my new cabinet probably around the 17 inch mark. I don't want it to be too crowded in this area, and I will leave myself enough room to put my face frame up and everything else, but also not waste this corner if I can help it. It's going to be kind of a dead corner anyway, but it just kind of happens. pretty good right <laughs> no, no it's crooked I'll fix it the cabinet is all secure on the wall now I'm going to measure the pieces to build my face frame I have these strips left over from when I built my other wall cabinet and now I'm very glad that I cut more than I needed because I have pre-cut strips to just cut to length and put up on the cabinet.
It's been a couple of days and I have tried to find another panel from the hardware store to match the rest of these cabinets, but the one that's closest to me is out and I don't know when they're gonna restock. In those couple of days, I've actually had time to think, I don't know that I wanna put a door on this. I'll probably still pick up a couple of panels whenever they actually do come back in stock with my local store because I'll probably put some more cabinets in my shop just the way it seems to be going. I like the organization trend. But for now, I'm not opposed to seeing my sprays up there. Majority lacquer, which I had a lot more than I knew I had, which is nice, and spray paint of the white and black variety. <laughs> There's a little bit of hodgepodge at the very top, along with some adhesives and things, basically stuff that I use here in my shop. But overall, it is a spray paint and spray finish cabinet. Can you call it a cabinet if it doesn't have doors? It's probably just a shelf, isn't it? In addition to the spray paint cabinet, I did move over my automatic self-heated glue and finish storage cabinet. This thing has been going for a couple of years pretty flawlessly, and I really, really like it. There's an old video on my channel where it shows me building this, but basically it's a closed cabinet that has a thermostat switch built in that controls an incandescent light bulb, a light that puts off heat, and it will heat the cabinet to keep it above freezing, but not cook everything in there and turn it all into a fire hazard. If you're interested in that, there's a link to that video down below. I also sell plans for this cabinet build if you want to follow some plans, along with product links and all that stuff. All those goodies are down below and over on my website, sam-craft.com as well. Well guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this storage uh, organization part two, three, four, five, wherever we're at, and overall making my shop a more functioning space. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, take care and I'll see you next time in the workshop.